future. The Bible says in Luke chapter 24, verses 25 through 27, then he said to them, O foolish ones, and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken, mm -hmm. ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And John chapter five, verse 39 goes on to say, you search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So now we, we, we talked about the divine character of the Bible. We found out that the Bible theme is Christ. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about how God gave us the Bible. Mm -hmm. How God gave us the Bible. So first of all, God gave us the Bible by revelation. Mm -hmm. God gave us the Bible by revelation. So revelation is that method used by God to communicate the Bible from God to man. God spoke, man heard the word, and revelation was accomplished in several ways. We're gonna talk about those different ways that revelation was accomplished, but I want you to keep in mind, if you're writing these things down, I want you to put a, a asterisk right by that. So God gave the Bible by revelation. So we're going to talk about revelation, the different types of revelation that God gave. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter one, verse one, that God, who at various times and in various ways, spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets. I remember one, uh, one gentleman one time came to us and said that God no longer speaks audibly to his people. And I just had to tell him that just wasn't the truth. You can't tell people that they don't hear God's word, not just through reading the Bible or through symbols and all that, but the audible voice of God. So God first used revelation through Old Testament prophets, priests, and kings. So the Old Testament text is punctuated throughout the divine signatures of revelation. Mm -hmm. Phrases such as, thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. or the Lord appeared unto, and the angel of the Lord spoke. Mm -hmm. These things characterize the manner in which God transmitted his word. Mm -hmm. So when you see these different things, you know that it's God speaking. Mm -hmm. It's just like in, in, in the King James Bible, you see red in the, in the um, in the, in the Gospels, and that's, you know, if, for those who uh, speak, you know that that's Jesus speaking. Mm -hmm. So revelation was accomplished through the Old Testament prophets, priests, and kings, okay? So revelation, that's the one way. Second way, revelation was accomplished through angels. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 9, verses 21 and 22, it says, Yes, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in a vision at the beginning, okay. being caused to fly swiftly, reached me about the time of the evening offering. Mm -hmm. And he informed me and talked with me and said, O oh, Daniel, mm -hmm. I have now come forth to give you the skill to understand. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So God used revelation through the Old Testament prophets, priests, and kings. Revelation was accomplished, one, through angels. Mm -hmm. Revelation was also accomplished by direct voice. Mm -hmm. And God spoke all these words saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. So we have revelation that was accomplished through the Old Testament prophets, priests, and kings. Revelation was accomplished through the angels. Revelation was accomplished by direct voice. Mm -hmm. Now revelation was accomplished through dreams. Mm -hmm. Revelation was accomplished through dreams. Mm -hmm. According to 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5, at Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, ask, 